Good morning everyone. Um, I am back. I haven't posted for a while. Uh, well, yesterday I did the, uh, the house hunt thing. But uh, other than that, I haven't been doing much pouring stuff. So I thought I bought one of these really big syringe thing. And I thought I'd try it out. Although I'm not sure, you know, when you put colors in together and you press them through something really small, usually those colors are going to merge together really fast. And if you have the wrong colors, it's going to turn gray. So um, I'm just going to try this out. It's not going to be a really long video. So what I'm going to do is spread this out. And I'm doing it on a photo paper, the Kodak Extra Life. And I'm doing that because I don't want to waste um, a canvas if it's not going to work. So I'm just going to spread it out lightly. And it's just to see, you know, the effect that the syringe is going to have. So let's keep it nice and smooth. I did shake that bottle because this is paint. Uh, I think this is almost a year old. And um, I am finding out that the longer you keep your paint, the better it is um, in consistency. Because these are also months and months old. And this is the perfect consistency. So maybe even too thin for pushing it through a syringe, but we'll see. Like I said, it's just a, a little bit of testing something out. So we're going to put in a couple of colors, and the bad thing is that I don't know if there's silicone in here, so I, I can't remember because it was uh, quite a while back when I did this. I'm not going to put too much in though because I don't want to waste all my paint if it doesn't work. Let's put the green in just for the effect of it. Okay. Now, I've got to clean it off a little bit, and then we're going to put this thing in, and we're going to turn it upside down. Oops, <laughs> it's already splattering out. Okay, really slowly pushing the air out. There we go. I think we are almost there. Let's see. Nah, oops, there it comes. Okay. Oh, there it is. <laughs> okay, let's just see how this works. Oh, that is pretty. I do like that. Even though it did sort of merge together, um, those colors are beautiful. And now I'd really like to torch it straight away, but on the other hand, I really like just those few cells in there. I'm going to give you a close-up in a bit, but let's do another one just along the side. Yeah, you've got a lot of control doing this. See how those few cells just pop in there? <clears throat> let's see what happens when I torch it. But I love that. Wow, that is beautiful. I think I should, oh wow, that is even more beautiful. That is crazy. Okay, let me get you in closer if I can. Let's see. I'm trying to get you in closer, guys. There it is. Look at that. <laughs> that is really, really, really cool. Look at that. Okay, now this has a lot of possibilities because um, not only is that really stunning, I love this bed here. I love this. I love how it's merging into the white and, and the outer cells are getting really, really big. Wow, this is amazing. <laughs> I wasn't expecting this. Really, I wasn't. Look at that. How quickly that... Man, I don't know how I got this. This is really beautiful. 
I just love, look how this is growing. Now, if you can't see it yet, what you have to do is just take, take your little slider and slide it back and then watch this grow. Is this something, this is really, wow. I think I'm gonna go straight back to, um, I'm gonna go straight back to pouring, I guess, because this blew my socks off. Look how beautiful that is. And they're even getting bigger as we speak. So I'm gonna do something here. Let's see. There you go. Whoops, whoops. See how I just touch, touch it really quickly and it already pops up? Look at that. I like this one better though, but these are just, you know, the outlines and this one has a filling. So that looks just a little bit better, but man, is this beautiful. Now I'm thinking, what can I do with this? I could cut it out. Just cut it all along the line here and then um, let me put it the other way so you can see it better. Yeah, I could cut it out and use it because this is on the uh, Kodak Extra Life. That's a good thing because I can peel it right off and use it as a skin. But can you see how big these are getting? Just just swipe back, scroll back and then let it go again. You'll see how big those got really fast. So, of course, we have to really just see what happens to it because um, this might, you know, eventually even get bigger and, I don't know, deteriorate. I'm not sure, but I'm going to be sure to uh, show you that tomorrow, whatever which way it happens. But I'm really liking this. I really love those cells. Those are really the type of cells I really like. Um, yeah, this is cool. Now I really want to do another one, but no, let's, let's save the paint because I don't have that much paint. So I'm going to save this paint. I'm going to put on the little lids and um, this is enough to, yeah, this, the big white one is enough to do a filly uh, canvas. And we're going to be doing exactly this on a canvas but then tomorrow because uh, I really have to clean up my studio. Uh, I'll give you a little uh, tour in the studio in just a second straight after this and you'll see what I mean because if I have a lot of um, as you can see up here see that they're deteriorating they're staying nicely uh, not they're okay there's nothing wrong with them but they're going so we'll have to figure that out. But um, as I was saying, I can't really work in a really messy studio. Every time I come in here, I'm thinking, yeah, I have to clean it. So um, I'm going to be talking to you guys tomorrow. So let me think what you, uh, let me know what you think about this technique. And um, maybe if you have questions about it, I could answer them in the video tomorrow. So see you tomorrow. Love you all to pieces. Bye-bye. Okay, like I said, I was going to show you a little bit of my mess. So this is um, a lot and a lot of paint and mess and where I'm sitting doing my thing. This is all the uh, Vallejo Fluid watercolors. This is one I'm working on. Uh, this is one that I finished, which I really like. There is the one I was working on, but I'm sort of, um, I need a little bit of inspiration. I'm not sure how to finish this one yet. What else do we have? I don't, well, uh, there's a lot of pages there, as you can see. That's all the multimedia that I'm uh, going to be putting on the panels. I stopped with the panels for a bit because I wanted to do some uh, abstract stuff. Oh yeah, then we have the big one here which I do not like. It's like, I don't know, it's like a kid sort of painted on it. Let me get you in close. Yeah, there's copper bronze color on it. And I'm just not liking it anymore. So I just filled it up and thought I would, there you go. Let's see if I can get you in focus. Yeah, there's a lot of texture, some crackle stuff going on. 
but I'm not too happy with it. I do like some bits. I like that. That's kind of nice. Sorry I can't get you in focus better because I don't have the uh, right lighting over here. But um, I'm done with this. I don't like it anymore. So I don't know why. But um, just let me know what you guys think about it. I think uh, it looks like two kids went to town on a canvas. I don't know. <laughs> I don't like it. Oh yeah, and there's the lady. Someone asked me to show it again, but I think I already did. So she's just sitting there waiting. I am going to put her on the wall in my new house. That was the plan. So uh, guys, thanks. I'll see you all tomorrow. Bye-bye.